Hey guys, until recently, I was sucking on fags every day and I stopped doing it because I got sick of looking at dirty butts. So our British English speaking friends have just heard a totally different story and had a totally different mental image to our American English speaking friends. <laughs> so I'm making this one because we made the one about the fanny pack and uh, it prompted a lot of comments including some comments talking about this these these particular words so it prompted me to make this one to give our American friends a chance to laugh at our British English speaking friends so <laughs> uh, so yeah guys uh, British English speaking people if they say fag uh, usually referring to a cigarette so if you hear a British English speaking person saying they're hanging for a fag or they want to get their hands on a fag or they really need a fag or going outside for a fag or um, having 40 fags a day or whatever they might be saying that's probably what they're talking about um, and then butts uh, is the same as the little brown bit at the end you know the bit you throw away um, the butt cigarette butt um, so of course British English speak speaking people don't usually say butt referring to posterior when we refer to posterior we usually say ass uh, or we might say bum is a little bit softer than ass a little bit less offensive a little bit less naughty um, of course we don't say ass because an ass is a donkey isn't it and the Christian people who've read the Bible will know that that in the Bible somewhere it says something about coveting don't covet your neighbor's ass and they're not actually saying don't try and have sex with your neighbor they're actually saying um, don't be getting jealous because your neighbor's got a better donkey than you so <laughs> interesting isn't it so there's a, there's a lot there's a bunch of them there's there is more uh, another one is um, when my grandmother was English and my grandmother used to say blow me down so if you told her something that she hadn't heard before or something that surprises her, she would say, blow me down. So if you're talking to a British English speaking person and they say, blow me, they don't mean what you American speaking people say, um, mean. Uh, they're just surprised. They're not, they're not being offensive to you. They're just surprised by what you've just said. It's like, oh my goodness. It's like, oh, you know, wow. You know, blow me down. Well, blow me down, hey, blow me down. Uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, yeah, the other one my grandmother used to say was she'd talk about things being a real cock up. So if someone made a you know big error, some big error, she'd say, oh that's a real cock up, and that's that's common soon British English cock up. Made a real cock up of it. He really cocked up. <laughs> oh, there's a, another one too. Um, oh, it's just sort of back to the other way around again though. But if you hear about a British English person, a British, British English speaking person talking about polishing a knob, <laughs> they're not talking about doorknobs, <laughs> polishing a knob, <laughs> so yeah there's, there's a lot of them, it's interesting isn't it, so now I hope that's given uh, our American English speaking friends something, they can have a chance to have a bit of a giggle at us then, talking about sucking on our fags and stuff, so, um, and I'm using this without any, any worries at all because my, um, uh, my gay friends in Australia used to call themselves fags, so I know it's not a bad one to, to use. Just give me a minute. Here come the police. Hey guys. There they go. So yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? We can all have a bit of a laugh at them. Um, I think though, it's it, I think it might be fading away, you know, uh, with the um, influence of Hollywood. I've noticed uh, that the British English speaking countries that I've been to recently um, the the American influence, American English influence, is is coming through because of Hollywood. I think the Hollywood movies and the Hollywood dramas and so on. Um, matter of fact, I was talking to my sister recently in Australia, and she she said she had to go and fix dinner. Uh, we're talking on Skype, and she said she had to go and fix dinner, and I was really surprised. I've I've never heard an Australian person say that. You know, usually if an Australian's going to fix something, it's because it's broken. You know, the car's broken, we have to get it fixed. Um, we don't, we, we, 
don't use you to talk about fixing dinner. So I was really surprised by that one. I'd never heard an Australian person use that. We don't use it. So, you know, she's a Seinfeld fan and she's a fan of a lot of American sitcoms and American TV. So obviously it's it's got in there. Um, we used to hear in Australia, we used to have British English. So the news readers, when they read the news, they'd talk like BBC news, news readers. Good evening and here's the news, you know. And it was all very sort of BBC and got further and further away from that so we'll probably end up with a hybrid I imagine at some stage with the internet and with uh, you know with the international communication being what it is we'll probably end up with some hybrid of English which is a bit unfortunate all these differences that are interesting will all disappear I guess we'll all have to agree on something what are we gonna call it what are we gonna call the posterior oh well, let's ass that's a donkey can we use that I don't know ass that's just weird we'll have to come to some sort of arrangement <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? I hope the Australians get some influence. Australian influ Australian um, English should baffle baffle you guys. I should make that the next the next video. <laughs> Have a good weekend, Cobber. <laughs> yeah, we don't say Cobber actually. Sorry, but yeah, uh, the Australian 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 English. I might make that the next video. That's uh, that'll that'll baffle the rest of the world for sure. Only New Zealanders will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that silliness. More silliness coming soon. <laughs>